In today's competitive market, SEO is more important than it's ever been. WordPress permalinks, keywords, your site structure as a whole can make a huge difference when it comes to helping you to rank higher online. So today we're gonna get into the actual technical setup of the correct permalink option inside of WordPress. So let's get into WordPress and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so inside of WordPress, we're just going to go to the settings option here and there's an actual permalinks section that you're gonna click on. And this is really important. At the very top, WordPress has a warning and it says changing your permalink settings can seriously impact your search engine visibility. It should almost never be done on a live website. So I'm gonna make the caveat here. If you have an existing website with a lot of content on it, do not change the setting. If you're gonna change the setting, there are some very important steps that you need to take before you do this. But if you have a brand new website that doesn't have any content on it and you're trying to understand what the right permalink option is to choose here, that's what I'm gonna go over right now. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly which one you're gonna to wanna to pick here. So you have plain, which is kind of like a number mixed with some letters. It's gonna just do this automatically. I would not pick this one because that is kind of gobbledygook to Google as well as to users. They don't know what the title of the content means. They don't understand the URL structure. It doesn't really make any sense. So with the day and name and month and name options, I would not pick because they put an actual date in the URL structure. This is bad because if you ever go back to your content and update it, which you should for SEO and to help you to rank for keywords and to rank higher on Google, Anytime you were to make an update to that content, it would stay this same old date. So if you were to change the date, you would have to make sure that you do a 301 redirect or else you're gonna break the page. So I just would not pick these. Dates are bad, it kind of ages your content and dates your content. It makes it really hard for Google and users to understand that you've updated it, that you've made changes. The next one is numeric. Again, for the reasons of the plain one above, I would not pick that because it doesn't give the user, the reader, or Google any information as far as what the name of the page is, what is the content about. Numbers don't help anybody. The correct option to choose if you have a brand new website would be post name. The nice thing about post name is WordPress is automatically gonna add hyphens in between the words. That's also very important because you don't want to have just one gigantic word all mashed together. You should have hyphens so that Google can make the difference and the reader can make the difference between the different words in the title of your content. And then you could decide to do a custom structure. They have all these tags available at the bottom, but I wouldn't recommend this. Post name works just fine. Okay, so if you have a brand new website and you haven't created any content, choosing post name is the way to go. That's what you should select inside of the permalink structure. But what about all of you who have existing websites and content already? Again, do not change the permalink structure because if you do, if you go inside of here and say you click post name and then you click save changes, you know, again, assuming that you had a different option here picked. Now, let me make that clear. If you have post name picked already, good for you. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did it right. But if you have a different one of these picked, and you have a lot of content on your site, if you click post name and click save changes, you're gonna break your website. All the pages or all the posts that you have are gonna throw 404 errors because they can't be found anymore. All the links that exist online to those pages are also going to break. So that's why WordPress has this big warning here saying don't change this, you'll ruin your SEO if you do this. But if even if you have a different option picked here, all is not lost and I'm gonna to explain to you what you can do manually as you build posts just to make sure that you're getting the best SEO value because you can still follow a structure like post name. You're just gonna to have to do it manually. So I'm gonna show that to you next on how to do this if you have an existing site. So before I show you this next step, I just wanna put in a quick plug for our Do It For You SEO content strategy services. Here at BKA Content, we know what it takes to get your content to rank online. We do all the heavy lifting when it comes to coming up with strategy, writing of content, and posting that content, as well as even doing link building campaigns to help you to get ahead of your competitors online. To find out what we can do for you, go to bkacontent.com and right there you can sign up for a free SEO audit 
where we'll take a look at your content and tell you what content's working, what content isn't, and then we'll give you some expert recommendations on what you can do on your website and what we can help you with to get you to the next level. So what do you have to lose? Go to bkacontent.com and sign up for a free SEO audit today. Okay. So now we're back inside of WordPress. And again, I'm talking to those of you who have an existing website with lots of content. You still have options to be able to get your URLs in a better place that'll be more SEO friendly. So there's two main options. The first option is to pick a paid plugin solution. And the one that I would personally recommend is Yoast. So Yoast has a premium version. And with that premium version, they have redirects built in. And what's so nice about Yoast Premium with their redirects is if you change any URL structure on any page that exists on your website, it will automatically create the 301 redirect for you. So what that means is the plugin is going to create a 301 redirect automatically, which means that any of your links that exist on your website or any links that exist outside on the web that went to that old URL will automatically be redirected to the new version of the URL that you just made. This is awesome because it keeps all your SEO value and you don't lose any of it. Now, if you don't want to do a paid plugin like All-in-One SEO or Yoast Premium, there is a free version of redirection, which I would recommend, but you do have to do things manually. So if you go to plugins and you go to add a new plugin, um, the one that I would recommend is called redirection. So if we type in redirect, you'll see this redirection plugin right here by John Godley. Now, again, I'm not affiliated with any of these plugins. You should always download plugins at your own risk. Make sure that you always have a backup solution. And I would always recommend backing up your WordPress site before installing any new plugins so that you could restore a backup in case installing a plugin breaks the website. So once redirection has been installed, you'll find it under tools and you'll see this redirection option here. So inside of the redirection plugin, if you need to actually create a new 301 redirect, which just simply means that you are forwarding an old URL to a new URL so that you don't lose any of the links or anything like that, it's very simple to do. This is just a manual process. You can also import a whole bunch of these if you want. If you need more information, they have a great video on their website where you can learn more about how to use the plugin. But just for a basic you know, refresher here. So you can see when you click add new, you're going to put the old URL in right here. Then you're going to put the new URL into the target URL. So source URL is the old URL. Target URL is the new URL that you want to forward to. And if you want to make sure that this is a 301 redirect, which is what I would recommend, you can click the little cogwheel here and it will show you what sort of redirect is going to make. I would do a 301 because a 301 means that you're permanently moving that URL to a new address. There are some other options here. You can look them up as you, if you'd like, but the most common URL that is SEO safe for everyone is a 301. Okay, so now that we've gone over the basics of that 301 redirection plugin, let's imagine that you've got a website that has a lot of content on it and that you have a different permalink option selected other than post name. So again, you would not want to change this at this point because you're going to break your website. So here is the best practices I would follow to make sure that my URL structure is Google SEO friendly to help them to index my content based on its intent and the keyword that I'm trying to target. So let's go ahead in here and create a new post as an example, just to show you kind of how this would work. So I'm going to call this um, keyword one is the name of my post here. And you'll see here that WordPress creates just kind of a garbage URL while you are creating a you know draft version of the content. Now, when I actually hit publish, it's going to honor the permalink option that we have selected. So in my case, it's the post name. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish because this is just a test post that I'm showing you. Okay. So now that I've hit publish, we can see what the actual permalink is for this post. So you can see that the permalink is keyword hyphen one. So you can see the full URL here. Now, say this was an existing piece of content and it was saved in one of those weird ways with like a date or a, um, you know, gobbledygook numbers and letters. And I want to actually make it the post name. So what you can do in here is actually change this to whatever you want. So let's say I want to actually change this to keyword two. So you can see here that it's going to change my URL to keyword two when I hit update. 
Now what's really important to understand is I would need to create a 301 redirect for this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this URL really quick. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into the dashboard and we're going to go to the redirect tool which is under tools and redirection. And what I would need to do is create new and I have my new target URL which is the keyword two. And what I gotta remember is that I actually had created a URL called URL keyword one. So I'm gonna need to do this to make sure that my keyword one post now is updated to my keyword two post and add the redirection. Now to be clear, if I had a premium paid version of a plugin like the Yoast Premium or the All-in-One SEO Premium, whenever I were to just change the post in that post format, it would have automatically created a redirect. I would not have to do this process, but I just wanted to show this to you so that you could understand that if you have existing content, how you would update the URL structure and then use a plugin like redirections to be able to redirect to what the new one is. So is it worth the time to go through your existing content URLs and update them? Absolutely, and here's the reason why. Google looks at your URL structure when it indexes it into the search engine. So if that URL structure has your main keyword in it and it has hyphens in between the words so it can understand what a long keyword phrase is and what you're targeting, it's just gonna speed things up for you and help you from an SEO perspective because Google's going to have a quicker understanding of what your content is about. And not only does it help Google, but it helps users when they bookmark or they take a look at your content up inside of their browser bar, they're gonna know exactly what content they're looking at instead of P1237. It's gonna say the actual name of the title of the post. So again, using a premium plugin can definitely speed you up and I would absolutely recommend it but a free plugin works as well. It's worth the time and the effort to update your URL structure to give yourself the competitive advantage over those who are not. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you can get more content from us as we put it out about SEO and content and getting the best results that you can. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we will see you on the next video.